Today we are going to discuss about the topic periodic properties. Before learning this periodic properties, just we will go into what is the introduction and why we need to learn about this periodic properties. As if you know that in the periodic table, total 118 elements are present, right? Total 118 elements are present and each element is having its own different properties. Learning this each 118 elements is very difficult. So we have introduced some properties so that you can make it easy to learn this all 118 elements and that we have named it as it periodic properties. Okay, before learning this periodic properties, you need to learn what are present in the periodic table and how we have differentiated at this properties and how we have we are going to explain these all periodic properties the periodic table in this periodic table we are having groups and a periods what is meant by groups groups is nothing but vertical columns and periods are nothing but horizontal rows this is horizontal row and this is vertical columns in whole periodic table we are having seven periods and 18 groups like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 total 18 groups are there and 7 periods are there and these groups and periods and the whole periodic table is being divided into 4 blocks okay and this you can call this as as block elements and this side whole right side of the periodic table you can call it as p block elements total left side of the periodic table you can call it as s block elements in between s and p you are having d block elements and down of this spd you are having f block elements we will go this brief information of this s p d f blocks and what are involved in this blocks and what is being there in the group and a period now we'll have a look on groups okay now these groups has been subdivided into a capital a and capital b subgroups okay now this first group number is denoted as cap roman number 1a and this is 2a group element and next comes to 3a group 4a group 5a group 6a group 7a and 8a group elements this is of a subgroup type and next comes to b that is 3b 4b 5b 6b 7b and this 8 9 10 these three are being considered as 8 B group elements and now this is 1B and 2B okay and this 1B and 2B group elements these two comes under S block elements okay and now this 3B to 8B group 8A group elements comes under P block elements 8A to sorry 3A to 8A comes under P block elements and in between these S and P you these comes under D block elements and from down that this is F block elements from where we have got this X, F block elements 
from the d block elements this sixth period and eighth group you are taking f block elements and again seventh period and third b group you have taken this series you will be calling this as 4f series or and 5f series this is of general basics of this groups and now comes to periods periods how many periods are there total seven periods are there okay first period second period third period fourth fifth sixth and seven periods now we'll have a brief look of groups okay groups how many groups are there total 18 groups are there okay now 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a okay now first a group elements that is known as alkali metals what do you will call it as one year group elements called as alkali metals like vertical columns you need to remember vertical columns vertical columns down the group from top to bottom two a group elements are called as alkaline earth metals and i'll tell you why this names has been come like alkali metals and alkaline earth metals also now third a group elements are called as boron family what boron family fourth a group elements called as carbon family fifth a group elements called as nitrogen family or else you can either call it as nitrogens what nitrogens and next sixth a group elements oxygen family and eighth a seventh a group elements called as halogens what halogens and eighth a group elements you are having four different names that is inert gas zero group elements or as you can either call it as aerogens or either call it as you are very familiar with that it is noble gases okay this is what the introduction of groups and each group is having its own importance and each group is having its own periodic properties and each group is having its physical chemical properties till now we have learned about groups and now we will going to periods i i said that previously how many periods are there there are seven periods and you call this periods as horizontal horizontal rows like arrow of this left to right that is horizontal rows you will call it as periods total how many periods are there seven periods are there now we'll go for first period in first period you are having only two elements what are those elements hydrogen and helium only two elements are present and you call this first period as shortest period of the whole periodic table what shortest period what is the shortest period first period is the shortest period now comes to second period in second period total how many elements are present eight elements are present what are those it starts from lithium to neon from where lithium to neon and this you will be calling it as short 
periods what you will call short period second period is known as short period and either you can call it as third period also as short period third period and it is also consisting of eight elements and it starts from sodium to argon and you can call this also as short period like second and third periods are called as short periods what first period is known as shortest period second and third periods are called as short periods and these two periods consist of each as eight elements and next comes for fourth period and either fourth and fifth periods are called as long periods what fourth and fifth period are called as long periods in fourth period you are having total 18 elements and even for fifth period also you are having 18 elements this fourth period starts from where it starts from from potassium to krypton where from potassium to krypton and next fifth period starts from rubidium to xenon you are having an idea the left the whole periodic table the left side you will be considering and you consider the right side of the periodic table so that you can get what is the first element and what is the last element and next sixth period sixth period is known as longest period what you are calling as sixth period is called as longest period either sometimes you can either say that seventh period is also the longest period but seventh period we will be saying that seventh period as incomplete period and seventh period is known as incomplete period and sixth period is known as longest period sixth period in sixth period how many elements are present 32 elements are present and seventh period also you are having 32 elements this sixth period starts from cesium to red seventh period is incomplete period it starts from francium to osgium and this is what about groups and a period okay till now we have learned about periodic table and in periodic table what are present groups and periods the main what main main important thing is what is present in a group and what is present in a period further topics we will be explaining in the next session okay thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the online patashala